Well, hey everybody, this is Chris DiFurio with Keys to the Shop. Welcome to another edition of Shift Break. Today's episode is brought to you by La Marzocco, who's been creating espresso machines by hand in Florence since 1927. Machines like the KB90 espresso machine, which use straight in locking portafilter technology for ergonomics, scales in the drip tray for accuracy of extractions, and the auto flush feature for cleanliness demonstrate perfectly the focus on innovation that La Marzocco has long held on top of being one of the most sought after and consistent and beautiful espresso machines in the world. This is why some of the best coffee shops in the world do use La Marzocco. I've always loved working on these espresso machines. I know you and your team will as well. La Marzocco has many different styles and kinds of machines for your specific needs. Email them at info at lamarzoccousa.com. One of their salespeople will be glad to help you in your pursuit of the perfect espresso machine. And also be sure to check out their website, lamarzoccousa.com. Today's episode is also brought to you by Espressly. Espressly creates custom branded mobile apps for coffee shops. You are not just a dot on a map with Espressly. They open their phone, they want coffee, they pull up your branded app, it has the colors, the feel, the logo, the font, all of the stuff, your menu, and they just click what they want. It's very amazing. This is why apps are awesome. And it's a bit of your culture in the palm of their hand. Now, this is a no risk model with Espressly. There's no setup or development fees. You get a drive through payment scanner, receipt and label printing capabilities. All of the data is stored in the app and it integrates with some of the world's best payment processing systems, including Square. So to check them out and have them get started on your app today, go to their website, reach out, have a conversation. That's over at Espressly.co. That's Espressly.co. Okay, everybody. Well, today we're going to be talking about something that needs to be discussed in terms of the uh, mentality that we have in service to customers and what we are actually doing when we are open. And I had this episode a while back. It's a shift break, I believe. It's called, are you open? It's a question mark there. Like, uh, I'm sorry, are you open? It's all about our disposition behind the bar, either signaling to the customer that we are ready and available to serve them and do so with joy and with pleasure, or are, are we basically sending signals either accidentally, explicitly, or somewhere in the middle where it's just kind of passive aggressive that you know we are not to be approached, we are not to be bothered, and that kind of thing. Now, across the world, baristas are in positions where he kind of flits between the passive aggressive and the explicit of like, don't approach, don't, you know, talk to us, don't, you know, we don't want to have to interact with you any more than we have to already. That's a huge problem because, you know, serving people coffee is kind of what a barista does. This is a people business. And frankly, and I hope this doesn't sound harsh, if you don't like people, you don't love people and serving people, uh, you really shouldn't be a barista. Yeah, loving coffee is fine. You can love coffee and drink coffee and make coffee, but you'd be better off. And I think most of us would be better off if you would make it at home and, or, you know, go to a coffee shop and buy it and enjoy it and love coffee. But love of coffee is not enough for uh, somebody to become a barista. You also have to love people and love serving people or else it just doesn't work. That's what hospitality is about. And so I, I mentioned that up front because it's important for the, the main point here, which is that our disposition will allow us to be uh, creative or not creative in how we pursue creating experiences for our guests. And we're either going to be outwardly focused or we're going to be inwardly focused. When we're inwardly focused, we are, again, trying to find the path of least resistance. We become like water in the puck of coffee, trying to find a place to channel. When we are others focused, we are more steady. We are fully extracting the possibilities of the moment in favor of delivering something not only just tasty, but experientially uh, life-changing. That's, that's our goal. And that's, that's what the best places do, whether it's coffee or otherwise. And so there is a conversation that was happening, um, on a forum that was talking about how they had ordered a coffee for here. It was an hour before close and the people served it to them in a to-go cup because they didn't want to have to do dishes. And maybe I think 
if I'm remembering correctly, it might have even been store policy, which hurts even more. It hurts my heart to hear that store policy because usually, and you can kind of predict that these things happen because you know, people are just like, oh, we don't like doing dishes and we're just going to, you know, can we stop you know, serving uh, for here when people come in an hour early and a uh, well-meaning owner who might be a people pleaser themselves and not know how to say no, we'll say, oh yeah, okay, well, let's just make it a store policy that an hour beforehand we'll stop serving. And the worst case here would be, uh, maybe it's not worst, but equally as bad would be that um, the owner has just kind of acquiesced to whatever the baristas want without any kind of institutional officiating. And the baristas just make up rules, you know, in the moment. Like, I don't feel like doing dishes, so I'm just going to serve in a to-go cup. Like, the focus of the person in that moment is, I want to make it easier for me, and I am fully willing for your experience to be worse as a result of how it serves my needs right now. And I think that is backwards. We are in a service industry. Serving people is implicit in that. Finding and innovating ways to serve ourselves is not. And that, honestly, that's probably something a manager and owner can do to say, look out for the welfare within reason of the baristas and employees. Make it ergonomic, make it accessible, make it safe uh, and train and resource and we, you know keys to the shop. We talk about this stuff all the time. But I say within reason because it's not reasonable in my opinion to have four here options for lattes, espressos and things. And then, you know, say, you know, guys, if we stop serving ceramic right now, then our customers will only have to go cups. And, you know, golly, they probably are going to sip it and they're going to take it to go anyway. So let's just jump ahead and predict that everyone's going to want it to go and never not even give them an option. Usually what you, you ask people, do you want that for here to go? Now, if they say for here, then you can't be like, oh, we're actually closing it in an hour. So, um, do you mind if we serve it in a to-go cup? That is the most cringy and awful thing I could possibly imagine. And it's basically saying you cannot be bothered to wash a dish. I get it if you have menu items like full lunches and other crazy um, things that involve an incredible amount of work where you can say, okay, we're not serving lunch beyond this time. It doesn't make any business sense. But what you offer as a menu item in your cafe should be available to maximally enjoy while it's available on the menu. Now I could see if you stopped serving lattes at you know, an hour beforehand or something like that. But really this comes down to, is it really that bad? Is it too much to have a ceramic cup served to somebody who, yeah, maybe they're going to get right up to the close and you have to give them a to-go cup. But guess what? If your focus is on others and their enjoyment and they really wanted it in a mug and enjoy their coffee in a mug, right? Then you having to do that dish it's not a big deal because they enjoyed their coffee. Our, we can't be in the business of qualifying people by saying, well, you know, this person, this person, this person, their enjoyment is not worth my work. Their enjoyment is your work. Their enjoyment is our business. And that's why I say at the outset, if you don't love serving people, then you should probably start looking for a different job in coffee you know, or not even work in coffee just enjoy coffee, right? Maybe you can be a customer where some other barista who does love people can serve you really well, because really that's what it feels like we're trying to do is we are trying to get people to serve us instead of the other way around. And so, you know, I've started traveling with my own demi -toss cup, with my own mug, because I, you know, especially after COVID, I don't know who is going to be serving in to-go cups or not to-go cups. And sometimes I will even say, I want this in a ceramic cup and I'll point to the cup on the espresso machine and I, you know, I have to overcome this inertia that, that is there that is just like, no, well, I don't want to give you a ceramic cup because I have to clean this cup. But guys, let's, let's really do some soul searching here. Isn't this what we're doing? If, 
if coffee farmers can scale mountains and pick cherries and process coffee and, and, and this coffee reaches us and we are so petty as to just deny somebody a service vessel because of some dishes, then we've got problems. So I would implore you, I would beg you, if this is your cafe, please don't institute a policy like this. Try to innovate the other direction. Innovate in ways that may be inconvenient for you. Honestly, if your people are taking that long to close a cafe, it's not because of dishes. I guarantee it. I'm a bit of a, a dish freak myself. Like I'm very efficient at doing dishes. I call, I got called out once a long time ago for being slow with dishes. And ever since then, I am, I am very good at doing dishes. But you stay on top of these things. You work while you're at work. And if you stay on top of the pre-close and you innovate ways to make that happen, you open up opportunities to not even have this be a conversation. You're not really saving that much time by denying somebody a very basic level of service in a coffee shop. So let's reverse our focus um, and let's make sure that it is on the customer and their enjoyment of the coffee that we are serving them in our place. We are serving them and that is the goal of the coffee shop and of a service industry. So that is what I have to share with you today. What do you think? I would love to hear from you, chris at keys to the shop.com. You can DM me on Instagram or you know, post a comment and we can have a conversation about that. I love that. In no way do I think that I am the end all be all of opinion on this, but um, I do feel pretty strongly as you can tell. So thank you everybody for joining me on the show today. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, share these episodes on social media. Let people know about the show. And as always, I will see you here next week on another edition of Shift Break from keys to the shop.